Yeah, you don't care if I record this, it's for a science project though. Am I recording? Yo! <laughs> what is up everyone? My name is FG Coley17, or some of you guys prefer saying, you say it. We'll try next time. <laughs> um, FG Coley17, uh, what did I say? FG Coley17, there you go, I remember. It's not an Achilles video, I know, I know. Most of you are probably here. But one thing that I noticed is that, I'm not saying it's specifically you guys, but check this out. Do you see this? This is a chart of well I, I don't even know if it's a chart but it basically explains that some of you guys are not even subscribed you guys are watching the videos which is cool it's amazing very amazing <laughs> it's a downer because i need subscribers well i don't need them but it's like it motivates me to take out more videos i know i, I constantly say that i don't care about like views and all that and subscribers and all that but um it that kind of like whenever i get a subscriber it's like the best feeling ever and if you had a channel you would know exactly why one of the videos that was like the most randomest video of my channel so far is the endoscopy video where i reacted to someone getting an endoscopy and some of you guys are probably like yo why did you even take that video out what was the whole purpose of that well let me tell you what was the whole purpose even though i explained it in that video i'm explaining it here again you're here because um you read the title one and, and yeah how, how do you say this hold up h pylori h pylori h pylori so let's start with this journey well this long ass video <laughs> let's go about like two years ago I, I had this problem where i would eat and i'll just burp which some of you guys may say it's normal and it is but for me is that like if i'll eat anything or, or drink anything i'll burp it up and you can actually feel it just come up like this like as if you were gonna throw up not an actual throw up throw up but it's like the food stays right there right there right there because at first i was like you know what i'm eating a lot of junk food so might as well just start eating healthy so i started eating like salad and fruit or whatever like even the fruits like like the apple like i would take a munch of the apple and a munch that's what you say? A munch? A bite? What the hell is munch? Whatever I ate, like about like two minutes later, I just start burping and it'd be like, it, it, and it's not those loud burps. It's not the burps that are like, Ugh, like the ones that kind of sound good because you're like releasing gas or something. I think that's what it is. No, it's like those like, like as if you're choking. And then ugh. I also notice when I wake up, I have shortness of breath and I don't know if that's normal. I don't know. Like it feels like they're just pressuring and you know during these times COVID time well that's what everyone thinks but in my mind I'm like okay I probably was at that time but no I'm still getting these kinds of like symptoms after months and months and months I'm just weak I'm very like is if is fatigueish a word is it a word I think it is <laughs> you see like I don't know if you saw, if you noticed, but I actually feel like, like go up. Symptom number one, halitosis. Hel, hel, is the term used to describe an unpleasant odor. Unpleasant odor. Do I have that? No. <laughs> no nausea and vomiting. Yeah, definitely. I don't know. I don't know where like I just get dizzy. I think it's part of the fatigue. Goodness. <laughs> so those were my symptoms. So then I went to go see a gastroologist. Recommended me these kind of medicines. Well, I'll put it up there. So this one didn't work. This one didn't work, obviously. And he's like, hmm, we might have to do an endoscopy, which is why I took that video out. Because I never had an endoscopy. Go check it out. If you haven't had it or if you're going to get one, just check it out. Um, it's all for entertainment purposes. Um, it's not nothing scary. And I'll tell you why. Because this was my journey to the hospital. This time I started getting ready. They gave me a mask um, that the nurses wore, you know, and then they gave me the whole suit. That's your boy, because they told me to take out my necklace. They told me to to take everything out. Um, felt like I was in the casting couch again. And your boy had to take out his shirt, you know. Damn, he's showing off the muscle. Too much, too much muscle for this. Too much muscle. The power of editing, like A plus for editing, friends. Um, I had to take off the boot because everyone was looking at me like, you're not going to get surgery for that boot. What are you doing? You're going to be kicking in your dreams? And then I was just ready. Uh, obviously, they made me sign everything to see like if I don't die or something. Die water. You see how I'm moving the feet left and right for those of you guys who are interested in 
in my Achilles journey. There you have a little bit. And there, obviously, I wasn't able to record, but I just, they rolled my ass into the room. They were like, hey, say hi to God for me, and they closed the door. I, I so they put you on the side. They put you on the side. As you can see in this picture, they start putting you the anesthesia. The nurses said they were like, "Yo, do you know that you were laughing at some points late, late?" And I'm like, "Such a Francis thing to do." Because they were like, "Count backwards from 10 and I'm like, "Okay, 10 And as soon as I said nine, y you feel that big like, um, what is it like that big? sleepiness just hit you quick and and you that's why i started laughing because i was like i was like yo this shit really works and then they started laughing too and then i just knocked out and then i woke up here as you can see a bit disoriented i remember in the last video where it said that i was supposed to get an ice cream i didn't get no fucking ice cream um instead i got a muffin and i believe this was coffee i think yeah so i woke up with those three things on my chest um they told me to go change but they told me to put on these shoes i don't know why was it like a joke because i wasn't able to walk anywhere and then i'm just putting on the boot again and yeah your boy is good now right so that's me i'm ready to rock i'm ready i'm ready to shoot the, to the streets as they say and no one says that <laughs> then your boy was taking pictures i did a little photo shoot three days later he received the report i went back to my gastroologist yeah he told me that i have h pylori it happens to like 60 percent of of the human race something tells me that if it's common it's not as dangerous that's just or is that just me <laughs> i'm supposed to take four pills well four, four medicines but in a day i'm supposed to take let's see that's four That's 12 pills. 16, 12 pills, there you go. First, we're gonna start with this, with um, tetracycline, tetracycline, whatever. So these are just the pills. It says I'm supposed to take four times daily. It's an antibiotic um, used to treat a number of infections, including acne. Thank you. <laughs> what, what were you when I was like hitting puberty? Cellars with the plague, malaria, and syphilis. I must have one of them four times a day. So obviously, we're reaching the final days or my final days. Whatever it is, it solves the problem. <laughs> On my perso, which is twice daily. All of these medications are meant for two weeks. The third one is metronidazole. Right. So this is the third one that I'm supposed to drink twice a day as well. Metro. Metro Boomin? No. It's an antibiotic. It can treat various infections, including certain types of vaginal infection. You know, <laughs> what does that mean? What are you trying to say? It can also treat skin redness and pimples. Yo, yo did I go see a gastrologist or did I want to go see a dermatologist? And then he gave me this bis, bismatro chewable tablet. Soothing coation. Oh. <laughs> Soothing. <laughs> Coating action provides fast relief of heartburn and digestion. There you go. After these medications are done, go a whole month without taking them. Well, they're gonna be done, so what is there to drink? I'm supposed to take this test. What is it called? What is this test called? Um, I got it right here. Now let's see what exactly does it say. An H. pylori breath collection. So this kind of exam, put on my glasses this kind of exam determines if you still have the infection or the bacteria in your stomach um during the test you simply breathe into a small collection bag to capture a baseline sample of your breath <laughs> like that it's been two weeks since i started taking these pills to be honest i i'm still bourbon and i don't know exactly w why if if these things are supposed to like cure me two weeks ago and he prescribed to me um these medicines and and what i've noticed is that i'm not getting like any kind of like um uh how do you say it? like i don't i don't feel much better in other words and i don't know either okay, um, what medication you're on? um well he gave me four because it's for h pylori they don't, 
they don't get better with the first treatment. Sometimes the doctor has to give them the treatment multiple times for it to get better. Like the symptoms that that persist is normal then. Yeah, it'll ease down uh, eventually. It just it it depends on your body how long it takes your body for it to kick in. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, because I'm already like done with the medicine. After Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I really appreciate it for the help. All right, no problem. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right, bye-bye. <sighs> Accompanied by the side effects that it brings, the nausea, the wanting to vomit, um, the loss of appetite. That I didn't know that. I just found that out. It makes sense now because, again, I felt weird like these past two weeks very weird but i just want to get over with this then i have many many like things that i want to think about um so yeah so if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe please subscribe um make my day much happier <laughs> um comment if you're going through this or if you're going through an achilles video um uh, follow all my social media accounts which are right here um and yeah i i just hope you guys the best and i hope you guys cure whatever it is that you're going through in this case it's the h pylori for me probably for you or probably you're just someone who just watches my videos but other than that it's, it has been your boy fg Coley 17 or as some of you guys may prefer saying fg Coley. whatever it is i'm okay with that um take care guys bye Pasa la línea, el canal te lo fundo Yo no sé por qué se ahora Si la vi yo